Hi, it's Heather Miche with another baking tip for you. Stay tuned through the whole video. It's just a shorty, but I want to show you a way to keep your bread, your homemade bread, nice and fresh, not get moldy, and avoid some plastic. If this video gives you some good tip and it's helpful to you, please do like it. Share it with any friends or family who are bakers, those that love bread, and anyone certainly who is interested in healthy, sustainable living. So this little bundle, what could this little bundle be? This bundle is wrapped bread that I made and I'm showing you this typically what does bread come in when you buy it in the store a plastic bag well number one you're buying bread at the store it has all kinds of leavening agents and so on in it chemicals who knows what other ingredients unless you painstakingly read everything on the label so I love baking bread at home. I've been refining my no need for ingredient bread that has a cold ferment and therefore a very low gluten content. Because I do have some gluten sensitivity. Thankfully, I do not have celiac disease, hallelujah. But this is a loaf that I made a week ago. Actually, it's about 10 days ago. And it's a beautiful experiment that I tried. There was this pave, that's P-A-V-E, cranberry chocolate bread that only came around seasonally that I found loved. And it was in a kind of a baguette size and style of loaf versus a round loaf. But I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give it a try. So I did my no need long cold ferment bread recipe and then added craisins and some dark chocolate chips. And it worked great. Holy smokes. So the tip is how to store your bread without using plastic. And it's very simple. You can see here, all I've done, of course this loaf has been halfway devoured already, but once your loaf cools after taking it out of the oven and let it cool completely because you don't want it to sweat, you're gonna wrap it in the foil. You know, wrap it up to where it's enclosed. Even if it's not entirely enclosed by the foil, that's okay. And then grab a tea towel, such as this one here, cotton tea towel. And then just make a little bread burrito. And just roll it up, roll it up, tuck in the ends. And you've got your bread storage. And you can leave it out on the counter does not have to be refrigerated. Refrigeration causes your bread to sweat as well, which makes it go bad and moldy quicker. So as I mentioned towards the beginning, I made this loaf a week ago, Saturday, and it's now Thursday. That's a, I really pushed the limits on this, but there is no mold on this bread. It has not been refrigerated at all. I am today though, I'm not going to push it any further, <laughs> and I'm going to slice it up and uh, pop it in the freezer so that I can take out a piece of it when I'm ready for some of this yummy, yummy bread. And that's it. That's the simple tip is let go of the plastic, whether it's wrap or bags to store your bread. Just make sure you do use that foil. Wrap your bread into a little bread burrito and you can just leave it out on the counter with more people in your family eating bread you probably won't make it past a few days but i'm the only one eating the bread so that's why it's taking longer to go through the loaf but that's okay
I'm happy to have some individually wrapped uh, in the freezer so I can take out one slice at a time. There you go. I hope you like this. Hope it was helpful. And keep finding ways to not use that plastic and live healthfully and sustainably. Do subscribe to this channel if you like what I'm putting out there. Thanks for watching.